Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, and it's very hot out here. And I walked off and left my paint while I tried to upload a movie, and um, <laughs> the movie got turned off, and I had to start over, and I came out and found that my cover was off, and so I squeezed a whole bunch of black, uh, excuse me, uh, gold paint in there to see if I could retrieve it, and my plan now <laughs> is to use it anyway. And I would squeeze that out if it were possible. I'd like to just add some colors to the surface of this that I know I'm going to use and like. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I shook some of these earlier. I don't think I shook all of them though. And I want um, some odd colors and I haven't used any orange today. And I am going to shake my paint because I can. I also want to use some of the colors I enjoyed using in my last video. And all of this is in an effort to prove to myself that um, I can continue to use, whoops, that was not shaken, continue to use the paint that sat and got a little skim on top. I think that I can freshen it up. I may be deluded, but I'm pretty sure I can get away with this. I'm going to try and make colors and designs on the surface that I like. I don't think it's going to have make a whole lot of difference. This is the Prussian blue. It looks black, but it always sells really nicely. And I love that about it. And there was plenty of gold in there, although most of it's looking pretty well buried now. I have an Art Minds brand that I get at Michael's, and it is I, hard to find. It's called Mystique. And ever since I bought my first couple bottles of it, I haven't been able to find it again. I think what that demands from me is that I go ahead and give in to my desire to use that red-orange. But by the same token, I haven't used this yellow at all for quite a while. I don't know what that's going to do. And I have a favorite. Actually, I have 20 favorites, but <laughs> I thought I'd try it. It's the uh, color shift from Folk Art. And if I don't stir these too much, I have an excellent chance at having some of them stay where I can use them. That is a um, also a color shift, but it's from Art Minds. What else do I want in here? That's probably not it. All right, so I have weird tool tools that I don't know if I'll use or not, but I have a shovel I know I will use. I have an edge catcher standing by. It's nice and dry. I don't know if I'll use that either. I don't know if I'll even tip this painting. My intention is to put this paint aside. Fortunately, I didn't overfill my container. I believe that this is probably a 20 by 24 inch canvas, and I'm going to have to offset it on my 16 by 16 inch tile. And I can always touch up that missing spot after. And I'm going to look really quickly into my paint and see if there's anything I want in there. And I think I just want to add, I think I'm going to float. What am I going to float? I'm going to put some green gold on the surface because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. And go back again and throw some more of that turquoise in there. I don't have much blue in there. And I'm beginning to feel like I'm not treating myself right without some blue. Also, it occurs to me, since I'm not over full, and I want some white because I loved how it turned out last time. Maybe I'll move some of this stuff back out of the way. Hopefully none of it will fall on the floor because I intend on swiveling my Lazy Susan. And they are also, I did find some and put them on the Amazon link in case you guys are interested. I kind of want some black in there too. Son of a gun. Okay, I'm doing it. Just right over here. Just a little bit of black. Now I'm going to grab, let me show you, I'm going to grab a scoop. I'm going to scrape it off and hope, yeah I don't, I don't know why I turn it either. And I'm just going to start with whatever is beautiful try and maintain that sort of, oh, I just want to, um, what do I want to do? I 
I want to give myself permission to do whatever I want to do. That's what I want to do. And I really do want to let that run, both of them, a little bit. I'm going to grab some more paint. I'm shaking. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I never know why. For the fun of it, that's why. And because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit more of this paint over here. Because I see that there's some really nice red-orange at the top. And I want to use it. I might want to use more of it. We go right over the edge right there and continue that over. Yep, I think I'm going to grab just a little bit more of that. And I think, yep, I'm going to probably be putting some back into the pan because I just used it up. Just following my instincts. Now I am going to go ahead. and grab a whole bunch of that and then hope that I can get away with I gotta be careful of that tile what do I want to do? I want to I want some of that paint down there <laughs> I'm gonna put more paint in there And more still. I use GAC 800 in all of my paints so that it won't crack. I like those weird marks when the shovel, when the paint doesn't deposit as I would normally expect it. I guess that's accidental art. I want some more yellow. I want some more of all kinds of stuff. I want all of that paint to come out of there, and for that it requires a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. My number one has a flat front on it, and that's perfect. I have been wanting to do something similar to this for a while. I am going to just dip the front of this diagonal, which is a number four, into the paint. and add it to the paint that's there and it will it will flow and join and that's cool as long as it's very wet and it's pretty hot out here but I'm hopeful that I can get away with this I kind of want some more red or magenta like that yes I'm gonna squeeze that right on top and what else do I want with that I don't know but I am gonna do that right now See that? Is that a bubble or a thing? It's a thing. Goodbye, thing. It's got some great patterns down there at the bottom. I love that. I always wanted to just give myself permission to what? To do a stem. Maybe I'll just mess with that stem with my shovel and see how that works. Because I know it will deposit some more strange colors, but that's okay. Changes it up a little bit. Alright, I got six minutes left. I want some paint out of that corner of that shovel right there. It's going to keep right on. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can do that again. Just got to keep my shirt out of this bottom portion.
didn't really want it totally interrupting up there, but I think I can get away with it. Yes. And I'm just dipping my shovel in. And that'll be fine for right now. I want some more of that green. I think I'm gonna, oh, yeah, I have a nice, I'm gonna get some stuff out of the way. Someday I'm gonna have a bigger workspace. I know, I say that all the time, but I'm a little stuck here where I am. I'm gonna use a bamboo skewer to just manipulate paint, to sort of hurt it sideways. pull whatever's willing to go without making a mark. I'm not scraping down to canvas, although it does happen. Like that. I think I want some more paint. I'm going to fall short of where I want it to go. There, I kind of like that. What else do I want to do? I want to do some other stuff over here. And if I lift that up off the tile, I can probably continue those marks. Yep, right over the edge, which is fine by me. I'm going to dip my shovel again. Let a few things cross over. Hope I could get away with a little bit more of that. And what else do I want to do? Do I want to go over here? I kind of don't, but I kind of do, so I will. What are we going to do over there? I think I'm going to get the timer out of the way. I want to use my beautiful colors, and I do have beautiful colors. I'm going to see if I can let most of that paint run right over out of that shovel, cover that two inch side. This is a gallery wrapped canvas and I hope you can see most of that. I apologize if you can't. I seem to be making that mistake fairly frequently recently. Oh, there's some incredible cells right in there. I wish they would stay. That Prussian blue, once it's added to something else, just becomes just so gorgeous doesn't even need to be metallic. Yes, I'm using my finger. And what do I want over there? I want something really cool. So it's a oriental flower arrangement. What can I say? That sometimes isn't a bad thing for me at all. I really like them actually. So if it looks like that to anybody else, we're on the same page. I'm going to put a little bit of that color I just used right into my almost empty paint container and go back and decide if I want something else in there also. Yes, I do. Where's my purple? 
I'm going to use a little purple and a little gold if I can. What else? I'm just putting it right into the shovel right now. I still want that purple, and this purple will work. This is a purple uh, that I think has some, yep, some beautiful metallics in it. I'm going to be completely irreverent, and I put some, tur some uh, excuse me, some... Oh, please turn. Come back here. Thank you. Am I going to get enough out? I don't know. I got something out. This is an Art Minds purple, but it's definitely color shift because it turns very blue. I got two minutes left to tell you guys, please shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you. It helps me out immensely. If you give me a thumbs up, that's another big, huge help to me because it tells the YouTube algorithm where to allow or how, or that you'd like my videos to have good placement. That's pretty much all there is to that. And the same thing with watching the videos. If you'd like to be of assistance to me, I need some. <laughs> Always. I do sell my artwork, but um, if you watch more of the video, including the commercials, you will help my YouTube channel immensely. That and the thumbs up. I do sell my artwork. If you want to communicate with me through YouTube, you can do that. And I'll get back to you with an email address. I have just enough paint to cover some of my sides in a pattern that's sort of matches <laughs> what I've got going on above it and that's not bothering me a bit. I'm going to use up every bit of paint that I made and this was leftover paint and it did work very nicely and I'm not done but I think I'm done with you guys because you're going to be gone in a minute and I really want to be able to do something cool down here. Yep. What else? What else have I got? I've got not much paint left, to tell you the truth. But I love you guys, and there's over 34,000 of you, uh, for sure. I got my, my plants' roots. I got some beautiful colors. This is just a lot of fun, and I'm going to torch, and you guys are going to be gone. And whatever I didn't tell you, would be that I do accept donations through PayPal and Patreon. On my YouTube header, there's a link to that. And also, right under the video, under Show More, you can find um, my Pinterest boards. You can find the recipe for paint pouring. You can find um, all kinds of cool stuff, <laughs> including my Amazon link, which, if you shop there, you can find my book called uh, Because I Can. And there's a paper, there's a paperback variety, a soft cover variety, as well as a, uh, as well as an ebook that you can probably also get. Yeah, I shouldn't be worrying about finishing this right this second because I think it's pretty good, and I'm going to be touching up that top corner. But this is what there is, and this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, Thank you for joining me. I love you guys so much. Thanks for the great comments. And thank you for keeping me going this long. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll talk to you guys soon, hopefully in the next video. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Yep. You're still there. I love you. Bye.